giving all praises to God. Yeah. Yeah. On behalf of Fontaine, uh, elders, pastor. You know, but Fontaine is, is out today, uh, traveling. But we want to pray and ask for God's speed and his traveling grace. And so you may come back. We have several other members that are out. Thank you.
like to, or let me say, my, my mentor, our pastor, he always says that whenever you get up there and preach, yes, sir. speak, make sure it's something that you can apply to your life and take from it. Yeah. Yeah. And I try to always make sure that I do that because I, especially being young, want to be able to kind of give hope to those a little yeah. bit younger than me and yeah. sometimes even those are senior. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Because it may be something I have gone through in life yeah. that you may not experience, but you may experience at some point in your life, yeah. especially in your walk with Christianity and your faith in Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I like that. I like so... The subject that I came up with today was gaining strength in your way. It comes from Isaiah chapter 40, yeah. verse 29 through 31. Yeah. And those who have their Bible, let me memorize it. It reads, he gives power to the weak and to those who have no might. He increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary. And the young man shall utterly fall. Yeah, yeah. But to those who wait on the Lord yeah, yeah. shall renew their strength. Yeah. They shall mount up with wings yeah. like eagles. Yeah. They shall run and not be weary. Right. They yeah. shall walk and not faint. Y'all yeah. doing all right? Yeah. Yeah. So gain the strength in your way. Yeah. How many of us like to wait? Raise your hand. You know, just look, look, look at me. Just look at me. You know, if you're struggling with it, I hope this message put, can, can, can definitely help you with that. Well, I'm going to admit at times that um, I don't like to wait. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm, I'm, I'm learning. I'm growing. So just bear with me. And y'all may not admit it. It's some of y'all out there that don't like to wait. But um, we are now living in what we call a right now culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Technology has created oh. that. Yeah. Oh. Where uh, waiting is slowly begin to dissipate. Yeah. Yeah. Which right. means dissolve or right. go away. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. With technology, we have the internet. Yeah. You can now order your food. Yeah. You can order your groceries. Yeah. You can sit there and pay your bills online and all these right. other different things. Technology has created that right. to where we are becoming to live in that right now culture. Oh, right. Oh, right. Yeah. That right now culture, that instant culture. Yeah. So, in the past, when you wanted to know something, right. you would have to get on a party line. Yeah. See, many of y'all don't know that. A party line. Where it may be 20 or 30 people on that line, but you gotta wait your turn to be able to speak. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Or you, you can hear a conversation. Okay. So if you didn't want to wait on that party line, you got you sent a mail, you sent a, 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 a letter in the mail. Right? Because right. right? right. we didn't have text message and tweet. Yeah. But now with technology, it has created yeah. that right now culture. Oh. Oh. To where now you can, everybody got cell phones. There's no house phone or no pay phone. Everybody got a cell phone. Yeah. And even in my line of business, sometimes I get a little frustrated and like, you got a cell phone, why you ain't asking? Because yeah. I'm living that right now culture. Yeah. So if I can't get you on the phone, I'm going to shoot you an email. Yeah. And I'm going to shoot you a text. Yeah. And if I can't get you on all three, I'm going to shoot you a tweet. Hopefully you can catch me on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. Yeah. Because we live it in a right now culture. Yeah. So, if you're not hip on technology, let me, let me kind of help you out with this. How about this? You know, back in the day, on, right? On, if you needed to wash clothes, right? Uh -oh. You had to grab that, 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 that pail and go down to the water, right? Get your clothes and wash your clothes there. But here it is. What about when you needed some hot water? You had to get you some wood, right? And warm that water up. We're living in that right now culture, right? Yeah, right. We got dishwashers, we got yeah. washing machines, yeah. we got hot washing machines, right? Because yeah, right. we, we want it right now. Yeah. I don't want to go to the laundromat. I want to get out my bed, throw right these clothes in the washing machine, right. so I can go. Yeah. Oh, right Wait. Now. Come on. Wait. Wait. You know, technology created uh, that instant. Yeah. Now here it is. What about for the cooks, yeah. our sisters, right? You know, we all, all of us like a hot butter biscuit, right? Back then, all the ingredients have to be separately prepared, right? But now with technology, we have Pillsbury Doughboy, right? They have been able to formulate a biscuit for us, cut it for us. All we need to do is throw that oven on 425, burn it up for 10, 15, 
So the clerk said, just a minute. Uh -huh. All right, y'all follow me? The clerk said, just a minute. The caller responded, thanks, and hung up. Did y'all miss that? Why, why is that? Why is that waiting? Because she didn't want to wait. And, and many of us are right there. Waiting is hard, isn't it? Some people call it the discipline of delay. But Isaiah, he didn't learn about waiting in the prophet's classroom. He learned and learned about it until, uh, as God became his teacher in the laboratory of life. So when it is when your situation that you're in, as I said before, he's the potter, we the clay. So there's going to be some situations that you're going through where it's planned and ordered by God. And waiting is never a waste of time. Some of you may say, well, I'm dealing with a car situation, my health situation, my financial situation. Just wait for it. It's going to come through. There is not one point in time in your life that you have wanted something. You may not have got it then, but it has not delivered it to you. I'm going to say this one more time. There is not one point in time in your life that you have gone through something that God hasn't brought you through. And if, we, if you haven't gone through something, you don't go through something. And if you go through something, you go through something. He didn't you out. So the command, the command for us to wait. I used to complain about my work all the time. I'm, you know, why this person get paid? Why this person get in this position and I'm not? Because I wasn't ready. And I can say this because when I look at some of the things that they have dealt with, oh man, I'm glad I didn't get that position. so that if I was to be faced with those obstacles and that individual was, I would have been strong. So, the truth about waiting. Let's start there. All right? And I'm just going to call it like it is. The reason why you're stuck in this situation that you're in is because you haven't learned something that he needs you to learn. He's trying to teach you something. You're stuck in the situation you wait. Yeah. But the beautiful thing about it, like I said, you go through something, yeah. you're gonna come, come out of it, yeah. is that there's a renewing. Yeah. There's a renewing yeah. in it. Yeah. Chapter 40, yeah. 29. He gives power to the weak. Yeah. And to those who have no might, he increases strength. Yeah. This is the second truth. This is the second great truth that I found. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Oh, yeah. To those who have learned to rest themselves in the Lord and wait upon him, oh, God promises, he offers the promises of renewal. And we already know that anything that he has said does not come back void. He's going to do whatever it is that he wants to do for you. You just got to wait. And then just be, be of good courage. Just be of good courage. So, once again, this is the... Um, the cycle of life to let it produces the word of God's renewal. So, my mom's here. All right? I remember one day she called me on the phone. You know, it's 7, 8 o'clock. She said she was getting ready to go somewhere. But while um, I was on the phone with her, she said the call would not start. So, I asked a couple questions. Trying to pinpoint that, you know, I'm, I'm very technical in a sense. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, as you keep putting it in, right? What happens when you crank up the car? What does the light look like? Yeah. Toot your horn, beep, beep. Yeah. Is it a loud sound or is it a faint sound? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Just trying to pinpoint the problem. And after diagnosing the problem over the phone, the symptoms, immediately pinpointed to a dead battery. <laughs> but by the grace of God, I wasn't too far from her. Yeah. Do you hear me? I said by the grace of God, I wasn't too far from her. So you may think that God is just sitting there, mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. he, he ain't there, but he's not. There's nothing that you're going through that he has to walk with you. See, he walks with me and he's talks to me because he knows I think. <laughs> so, so I met her and I gave her a boost. Yeah. Huh? Do you hear it? I gave her a 
boots. Yes, See, all it took was to uh, all it took to increase her faith in her car was just a little boots. Yes, How many of y'all sit in a situation right now? You need a boots. Oh, yeah. 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 So the boots was sufficient enough to yes, get her to the place where she could have uh, get get the battery tested. Yes, sir. And indeed, it was a, uh, a battery, and she needed to exchange it for a new one. Yeah. And life is like this all at times, right? Sometimes life batteries or our faith can uh, our, our, our faith can sometimes decline. Oh yeah. To where we need a recharge. Oh, yes, sir. But there are other times when life demands more than just a charge, a recharge. Yes, sir. Just being charged back up yeah. to our former strength won't do. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. There will time, come times when the cold mm. winter winds of the advisory. And the trials blow heavy upon us, right? Yes, sir. Talk with like that. Yes, sir. Talk. It is then when God is ready to step yes, in yes, and exchange, like yeah. exchange yeah. our failing strength for yes. his unfavoring energy or yes, unfailing yes, energy. Yes, sir. Yes, this sir. is what Isaiah was talking about in verse 29. He gives power to the weak. Yes, he gives uh, power to the weak and to those who have no might, he increases our strength. Yeah. You just sit there and you think about bad situations you've gone through. Yeah. And when you when you are, uh, and how you overcome those. Yeah. So when you get into those next situations in life, you said, okay, well, you know what? He's going to bring me through yeah. because he's done it before. Yeah, Each and every one of us has a track record yeah, to say, that, okay, well, I've been in this. I've had a financial situation. I've had health problems, but he done brought us through. Yeah, sir. Uh, and when I think about this, I think about Sister Mary. Yeah. And I remember Pastor one day preaching and, and, and talking about how he was sitting at the hospital, oh, yeah. just sitting there waiting. Yeah. You, you don't think that he was questioning God at that time? Oh, yeah. Yeah. But then that track record of bringing him through Reach. realized that he would be able to yeah. bring her through. Oh, yeah. And when he brings him through, he brings her through, he yeah. brings him through. Yeah. So this is the promise that God gives to us for those who wait upon the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Your job, you may not be qualified right now, but just wait, you're going to get there. Come on. Your financial situation, you want this bigger house, it's not going to be for you right now. Just wait upon it. It's going to come. That new car you've been waiting for, you just hold on, it's going to come. Your health situation, well, you know what, I need to, I, I, I'm dealing with this right now. Just wait about it, because when I'm able to overcome it, I can tell somebody else. Just wait upon it. So now, you've had the truth about waiting. You've had the truth about the renewal, all right? So now you have the truth about life's rhythm. So after you wait upon the Lord, he gave you power to the weak, he increased your faith, now you're able to just mount up with wings like eagles. And it says right here, when you are weak, he's going to give you strength so that you can run and not be weary. You can walk and not faint. For those who do what? Wait upon the Lord. So, when we learn God's patience and we know God's strength, this is another lesson yet to be learned. We must learn from God what I call, once again, the rhythm of life. It says that those that wait upon the Lord shall soar with the winds or with the wings of an eagle. Yeah. They shall not they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Yeah. 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 So through my experiences, I've been able to understand just how God was, is, and will continue to work in my life. Especially in those difficult times. I'm not quick to just give up anymore. I'm just going to stand there because he done brought me through. He done get me through the next one. I'm not quick to get up, give up. And often, a lot of us are like uh, Lucy in an old Peanuts comic strip. Uh -huh. Lucy was uh, complaining about her lousy life, right? Yeah. Charlie Brown was trying to cheer her up. And to each <laughs> life, <laughs> some rain must fall. Yeah. But that didn't seem to help. Right? So just remember, life has its mountains, it has its valleys, it has its ups, it has its downs. To which Lucy replied, all I want is ups, ups, and ups, right? But I'm here to tell you today, we want to be running all the time. Maybe what God is wanting you to say, or is wanting to say to us is sometimes like this. Let me set the rhythm of your life. When I want you to soar, when I want you to soar, I'll give you strength to soar, right? When I want you to run, I'm going to give you strength to run. When I want you to walk, I'm going to give you strength to walk and not think, all right? I'm going to give you everything that you need at that given moment in life. I'm going to put people in your life that's going to help you through it. 
because that's how it works. So, if you see others soaring when you just are walking, don't let it bother you. Don't let it bother you. It bothers a run swiftly by you. It bothers a run swiftly by you because sometimes we can we can question God's, you know, love for us based on what other people are doing in their life. Right. Yeah. What other people are doing in life. That's right. You got people vacationing, you question, well, why ain't vacationing? Oh, right. Other people get position, why ain't they yeah. position? Right. Other people are, 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 you know, every time you turn around, they're shopping, they got money. Why, why me? Yeah. You know, somebody ain't never been sick today, why am I dealing with this illness? Yeah. Right. But he gives strength to the weak. Come on. Yeah. Don't let it bother you, you just hold on. If others are running swiftly by you in the race of life, don't pay them any mind. You don't have to feel guilty. You don't have to feel second rate because it is I, the Lord said, who sets the peace of life. So if you deal with a situation, you may feel like he's four days late. Just turn around and look at Lazarus. When Martha and Mary was going through it, and they said, hey, God, where are you? Where are you going? He's stinking dead right now. He just said, hold on, hold on. Lazarus, 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 he got up out the grave walking like a new man. Huh? So, God, I'm just, I'm just going to keep it honest with you guys. We are in a situation right now. Every time you turn around, it's something bad on the news. You don't ever find nothing good and positive. If it's not dealing with race issues, it's dealing with crime, it's dealing with people with guns, it's politics, it's school issues. We got to stay prayed up. We got to stay close to him. Because he's the only one. He's the only one. Why you worried about your situation? Just be worried about him carrying you on. Just hold on. Don't rush. Yeah. Just continue to stay faithful to him. Whatever it is, you know, just stay faithful to him. He's going to bring you through. And I'm not telling you or preaching anything to you that somebody's told me. I'm telling you because he's done it for me. He's done it. He's done it. So you just hold on. You're dealing with a situation. You need a little prayer. Come on down to the altar. Because we're here to pray for you. We're here to see you through. Because that's what we all do in our walks of life. As, as children of God, our, our, our job is to Encourage one another. Encourage one another. So, as I close, as I close, just understand that he gives strength to the weak. His, his, his glory is, is perfect. And in the times where we may feel low at times, he's going to build us up. You just continue to just call on him and just hold on to his unchanging hand. So, I'm going to close. I'm going to close. And I just say that y'all just hold on because God is good. He's working for us, through us, and he's going to bless you whatever it is in life that you're looking for. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you.
that was great. I mean, this man spoke from his heart this morning. I got that message. God said, wait. And, and, and God gives us three answers. Yes, no, and wait. And, and sometimes he says, wait. And sometimes that's the best answer, wait. And, and, and you know, you know and it turns out to be the best answer because then if I had not have waited, you know, and so, yeah, I, I like that. James, I got my portion out of that. God bless you. Let's give James one more hand. Yeah. And, 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 and it had to be straight from God because all of us felt that this morning. Bless you, James. Bless you. Bless you. Yeah, bless you. And uh, we come by here, hearing by the word of God, confessing, repenting, being baptized for the remission of sin. And then God will ask you to his church. That be anyone's decision on this morning. If our hearts are clean, let's give God a hand. Amen. Amen. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Um, we have two or three that's come and